Greetings and welcome to Epic Battle Cry! This is the place where we cut through the crap to bring you the real deal on the gaming industry today! <laughs> I'm Brent Adams, joined by my creators of chaos, my crafters of carnage! <laughs> Daniel Kaiser and Tony Grice! What's going on, fellas? Is your is your child awake now? <laughs> If she wasn't, she is. If she wasn't, she is. <laughs> oh, come on. She, she's always awake. She never sleeps. You know what sucks is like last week you did the whole like Tuesday thing and like explained all this, you know, kind of all Norse, the, mythology. The Norse mythology stuff. Next yeah. week we're going to have to get you on a different day so that we could hear all oh, yeah, the origins I, 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 of like, I can hit oh, all of oh, We should mix That's it up idea. where people do it on different days. It's almost like we should do it like randomly. <laughs> we should have talked about that. I know. We should have talked about this, shouldn't we? Oh, uh, what do you know? <laughs> so anyway, welcome back, everybody. It's uh, Tuesday, <laughs> Tears Day, as I explained last week. And yeah, uh, maybe next week, week I'll, get the, I'll get the opportunity to explain Wednesday. But anyway, the point is this we've got a question from zachary clark who is at egarino on twitter and he says at epic battle axe how do you think the kids of today growing up playing games like minecraft will end up shaping the industry in the future mm. daniel That's a good question what do you think that is a good question um you know, I think that Minecraft is a phenomenon and something that I watch my kids play and it, it, it kind of, you know, it's old school in its look, but it, it's new school in, in, in that it, it involves the player in ways that uh, most games don't. It's an endless simulation that kind of requires your crafting, your thoughtfulness, your imagination. If there's anything that, um, you know, as games have gotten more and more realistic, uh, in terms of graphics and, and you know, just uh, everything that they bring to the table, technologically speaking. Um, the one thing that has been lost from them, or it gets lost a lot in that equation, is imagination. So I think that gamers growing up playing games like Minecraft, in a way, it's great because it does spark imagination and require you, if you don't play it and, and, and put yourself into it, nothing's going to happen. Um, so I, I feel like to answer this question, end up shaping the industry in the future. I think the gamers growing up playing Minecraft are going to think of the medium more as something that is truly interactive, that requires as much of them as it does of the software. And I hope that that translates to things that are more imaginative moving forward. I mean, that is one of the things that I miss. Imagination in, in our age is growing up. You know, when I look at the ages my, my sons are when I was playing, that was because we were filling in the gaps. It was, you know, mm -hmm. you know the graphics couldn't quite deliver what we were, were thinking. So we would fill in the gaps. We're filling the gaps with story because they were limited or, or, or you know, these make-believe worlds. You know, when I would play Final Fantasy, you go back and look at it right now. It's a joke. But for me, it was a magic Hey, that ain't no motherfucking joke, son. <laughs> well, no. I mean, graphics. I know what you're saying. I mean, when you look at Final Fantasy on the NES, right? So, you know, to me, that was that was a, a reason to spark my imagination and something that I would then go out and play outside, like imagining I was in those towns and stuff like that. And so I hope that that's what Minecraft and any games like it do for this generation of gamers as they help to shape the industry moving forward. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm i sort of there with you, although I don't know. It, to me, it, it seems like, honestly, Minecraft is... is not really that dissimilar from like when we used to play with Legos. That's exactly as what kids. I was going to say. Like, you you know Jose. We all know Jose, right? No, you you know I know you know Jose because that's how I met him. Jose? Yeah, Jose. Oh, Jose. I'm sorry, Jose Castillo. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. good lord. I, I know okay, like I know what you're talking Jose's, about. But anyway. you're talking about Jose Castillo. Yes. So I have many scars from Jose because he was playing. Uh, we played hockey together. Yeah. So. So anyway, one of the first time I ran into Jose in Sarah's coffee shop one time, and uh, we were talking, and this was like really early, like in the whole Minecraft thing, and uh, he was like, "Dude, I'm so into this Minecraft," and I was like, "Okay, well, like you know, like, like what is it? Like, like you know, like what's got you into it? I'm really curious because I haven't played it yet." He goes, "It's basically like Legos, the video game," and I was like, "Dude." That's awesome. Like, like just mm -hmm. like distilling it down to like that explanation, like told me everything that I needed to know about like why this was amazing. Which is funny yeah. because there are Lego video games and they're really not like playing with Legos. They're really not. Like, kid, although, really. although aren't, they're working on like they're working on like they an MMO. Like a, they're working on like a Lego yeah. MMO that is basically like you can I, build whatever you want. They've been working on it for a long time. I'm not even sure it's still going. Well, yeah, I, I, I don't think, know. I mean, maybe they can I think that's a bit. good, but to, to, to you know... I, 
to be honest, I mean, like, I, I want my kids playing with real world Legos and the virtual Legos, but not either one. Well, you that's, know, exclusive. that's what I was. Well, you kinda... want your kids playing with real world Legos until you step on one at 3 a.m. Because those I've motherfuckers done, are I've, sharp. I've done that's kind of what I was was leading into, though. Is like, I mean, to me, it's this is very similar to when we played with Legos as a kid. And so I don't in a, in a roundabout way, I don't know that Minecraft is is so different in a sense that, you know, so I mean, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't know that it's necessarily going to have all that different a, a, an end effect on the industry down the road. I mean, you know, it's mm-hmm. it's it basically is just taking like the things that we played with in a physical realm and put them in a, a virtual one. Yeah. And and one of the nice things was you pay your one price and you have you know, virtually an endless supply of Legos where like yeah. fucking a hundred dollars only buys like eight Legos anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, well, so it, it, it was a little more open-ended, but I do think that, that we really are kind of missing out a little bit. Cause like you were saying, like the, the older video games was almost like a, an evolution of, well, like take Final Fantasy. It was almost like an evolution of D and D, you know, yeah, when, yes, you, when exactly. you originally played D and D, it was a book and paper and you had a guy reading to you and telling you stuff. And then you, you know, tried actions and, and you Roll had to dice. make up this world out of nothing. And yeah. now we've got these virtual worlds that frankly, almost kind of con- even if they're open as hell they still confine us a lot like i still find these some of these games that have like yeah. multiple choices where you can say stuff to to do like none of them ever feel like what i would really want to say in the situation like they come close or you sort of like well i kind of want to take my character down this path so i know I, you know so i'm going to answer in sort of these ways but they don't give you like an infinitum amount of choices as to what you want to do like you know right. no i want to say fuck you and i'm gonna punch you in your face and take your all your money or whatever and, like uh, Right. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that, I, I, I do think that we are missing that sort of fan, fantasifulness. Like kids yes. don't go outside and play I- as much as they used to. They don't do all these things that, frankly, because I, I make them. But <laughs> and well, but that's that is, that's good. And, and let them drink out of the garden hose. <laughs> that's why I almost think, in a roundabout way, that that Minecraft may not necessarily be as good for the future of games as something yeah. even at like Legos were before it because you still sort of had a physical yeah. connection or before right. games before that where you had to make up more and more like I, I yes. almost think that it could be a little bad for it I think it might stunt the yeah. growth of those choices I, I def- slightly I, I disagree and and I'll tell you why um, I think we're out of time <laughs> <laughs> I think that um, I think that the, the reason that Minecraft uh, is good and, and and I think that the reason it will not go the, the direction that that you that you're fearing is that I, I think that what will happen is you'll see that um, be, because Minecraft is as open ended as it is it will basically put it will basically give people the desire to have the, those games that are open ended in the way that you're talking about Tony and mm-hmm. I think that uh, I think that kind of having it's like well this game lets me do this 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 and this but then it kind of confines me on these things. It would be great if I could have all of the freedom I have here in all of these other ways, and that's one of those things that you know is going is going I to come about you know through technology and things like that. Is as games get more expansive, as people figure out ways to to build games to to be more adaptable to to player choices and player style. I think an interesting example of this is No Man's Sky, and you know they're they're designing a game that definitely. I mean, it's got barriers. There's there's still invisible walls, uh, as it were. But they are they are much much farther out than they were even just a few years ago, and I think that the per, I think that, that you're going to continue to see know progression. What that game is going to be like though, really? Do we? I did mean, you, you know, wa- like, did you watch the gameplay series that Gamespot's doing right now? I have. Yeah, no. I'll, I'll I'll send you a link. But like Gamespot's doing a series on it, like right now, like where they're talking about like what the actual gameplay is like, like they're showing off gameplay and talking about various things that you can do within the game so they are starting to to answer some of those questions uh mm-hmm. i mean like that's basically what the series is is like 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 they start off and say essentially the question is what, what is this is game this? like like yeah. what is it like to play this game and so they're doing a multi-part series on it uh that, and that's i kind of addressing Nemansky, that. by the way I, I think it's more fun to just call Nemansky. it Nemansky. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway like and just pretend it's like from cd project red in poland you but know? Yeah, um it works. I, I i totally agree with you tony i totally agree with you in, in the sense that you know going from something like a tabletop rpg where you can imagine anything that you want to to a to like an MMORPG where it's like okay well you're definitely playing in like you know Blizzard sandbox or whatever it is I kind of feel that like Minecraft uh, could be the beginning of somebody saying, "All right, well, we could basically make like a like kind of a like a D and D RPG." And I mean, I understand that there like I understand that you know that there are like uh, you know kind of like PC equivalents of, of tabletop 
software you know that's, that's just designed to facilitate doing that kind of thing but minecraft you know could be the thing that gets somebody thinking hey you know we could do like basically a D mmo where you could come in you could create your character but you could also create the world and you could create the side quests and and all of the things that fill the world and you could basically kind of play a video game equivalent of that open-ended tabletop game and and you know with user generated content with you know people being able to contribute their own ideas their you know their own models all of that kind of stuff it it, it does in, in my and especially like with the crafting in Minecraft you know kind of being a foundational thing mm-hmm. in my mind i can see how this could be the beginning uh, of getting us to a point like that yeah. where, where you well, do you kind of have the, the best financial of both worlds. success of Minecraft that it's going to be mimicked. So Certainly. people are going to try to find ways to, it's kind of funny though. Cause I mean, Minecraft has been around for how long and has eh, it been years. mimicked really this point? I mean, you know, it's like in a, in a way it, it's because of its success, it's almost like it, it people are scared to be a Minecraft. I, I, oh, yeah. And in, in a roundabout way, I kind of think so. Like the, the closest game I can think about is that uh, Terraria, like uh, Terraria. But there's a, a bunch of games like that. There's a bunch of small games like Terraria that incorporate those kinds of, those kinds of uh, Minecraft elements. I don't think anybody's done necessarily like a full on clone, yeah. but a lot of people are kind of injecting a bit of that Minecraft element into they're, they're smaller titles. Crafty. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> Thank you very much for the question, Zachary Clark. If you have a question for us or a news story that you'd like us to talk about on a future episode of Epic Battle Cry, you know where to find us, at Epic Battle Axe on Twitter, youtube.com slash Epic Battle Axe. Please subscribe to the show. Throw us a like. We really appreciate all the love and your support in getting the word out on the new Epic Battle Cry. We'll be back tomorrow with a new episode, a new discussion, a new Mm -hmm. chance to embarrass ourselves in front of our country and our mamas. Mm. I'm Brett Adams. He's Tony Grice. He's Daniel Kaiser. See you next time. What kind of eggs do you guys like? Egg or Reno? I mean, I like like eggs all sorts of Scrambled mostly. Yeah, scrambled. scrambled pretty much, I don't yeah. like that. I like. I don't like it when the yolk's runny. Like, like oh, I love oh, that. Oh, okay, so you dip your toast oh. in it. Jesus, no! Like, like, like oh. something about oh, the consistency you, of it is just sickening oh, yeah. to me. No, it's so great. You put it on the toast, and you. Put I'm some, aware like, of how it sauce. works. <laughs>